UFC, but, baby. Yeah, we're talking about UFC fight card um, number 253 in Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. Fight Island. Fight Island. The the main event was um, Isadonia versus Costa. We'll talk about that right now in the end. But yeah. We'll talk about the undercards. So I'm going to pronounce some names wrong because we don't know. some of their names are pretty crazy. Yeah, but, what was the first fight? Uh, the first one on the main card that started like at 7, seven. o'clock yeah. uh, Pacific Standard Time was uh, Hakim Dawudo. He beat um, Zubara Takugov. That was a really good fight. Yeah, it was a good fight. He beat him by decision. At the end, Takugov, I don't know what he was doing. He was just like running away. Yeah. And like that card was, or that fight was funny because um, Hakim Dawudo, he started yelling at the other guy uh, to, fight. to fucking fight me yeah. or, he was or running. throw something. He said like fucking fight me or something. Yeah. And the ref was like, watch your, mouth. Watch your language. <laughs> yeah. Which... I found out is a rule. You're not supposed to like curse at your opponent. You're supposed to have some like some respect, you know. Yeah. And but it's hilarious because like he's saying, "Hey, be respectful to this guy that you're trying to take his life." Yeah. <laughs> from. And it's it's funny because like, there's no fans because you can hear it yeah, so clear. Yeah, you can hear everything perfectly. So yeah. you just heard him so clearly. Like, watch your language. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> which funny. is which, and then he ended up apologizing and whatever. But um, that was a really good fight. And Khabib, that's one of his uh. Partners. Like, oh, yeah? Is it? I he, was in, he was there. Oh, yeah? He was in his corner. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and I don't know what happened. I don't know if he got hurt, because he was looking good the first round. Yeah. Um, I think he won the first round, but then he started losing, and then the last round, he was running the whole time. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I think he was probably just tired. Yeah, he could be <laughs> tired. He kept trying to um, take him down, and it yeah, was not it working. it wasn't working. Sometimes you got to switch it up. He was not Khabib there. All right, and then um, Caitlin Vera beat Cesaro Eubanks by decision. Which, it wasn't a, a bad fight. It was steady. It was pretty good. There was some moments where they were, they were really swinging on each other. Yeah, which is nice. Which you always want to yeah, see. Yeah, which you always want to see. Um, but yeah, it was a good fight. Nothing crazy. It was a good lead. It was a good build, a good build towards the main yeah. the main fights. I think it was on par with the first one. Yeah, yeah, like, that, that's a good, that's a fair Decision statement. and, because the last round for the first one wasn't very good. Because the guy was running. Yeah. This one, no one was running, but. Yeah, but the was action wasn't fight. as steady. But yeah, yeah. I, I liked it too. And then, um, Brandon Royville submitted um see, these names are crazy kai carl france in yeah. the second round that was a good i like that dude fight. that was an insane that was a really fight, good fight. Yeah, i yeah. really like that guy yeah he's because he's like energetic and he's like he was throwing stupid like yeah hits but they weren't stupid they were landing yeah he's like very like unorthodox or whatever like yeah. he's very like it's hard to see what he's going to do because he's just all over the place but he has a lot of energy to him. I thought he threw an illegal knee at yeah, the that beginning. Was bad. That it looked bad. It looked like he kneed him in the head when he was down. But they showed the replay and it hit him in the shoulder right here. He kneed, he kneed him a couple times. Then, like that one was obviously look bad. But then he threw a couple flying knees. Yeah, that hit he's him and like he'd, he'd do combos. He'd hit him with the one two and then just throw a knee. And like yeah. it's funny because like he tried that again later on and threw the knee when the guy wasn't even close to him. He yeah. just like yeah. he just threw it for no reason. That, I really enjoyed that fight. I, I, um, that's my first time watching him fight. Yeah. Um, yeah, me too. But. I really like him. I feel like he's. I feel like he's really good, and I like that. It could be now because he's new. He's more yeah. newer, but like he. He just seems like he's grateful to be there. Like he's humble. Yeah, yeah. He's excited to finally get things going. And, and he, I hope he keeps that. He, he got cracked with the right hand, like at the very beginning, yeah. and he threw a spinning back fist, like as he was falling oh, that down. That was crazy. Yeah, and that landed. could have been the end of the fight for him. Yeah, because he was stunned, but then he. He threw that spinning. spinning back fist, and then no. later on he got him again. No, but it wasn't a back fist. It was an elbow. It, it was an elbow. Oh, yeah, it was the elbow. Okay. They thought it was a back fist. And then later on, he got he, the same thing happened yeah. again, and he got him with the spinning back. Or he was trying to run away, and he just threw a spinning back. Yeah. That's nasty, and, and got him. And then at the end of the fight, it, it, when I was talking about him being humble, he was saying, if, after I won this, I was going to come and say, I need somebody in the top five or top ten, but he's like, you know what? I think I need more work because I got cracked a couple times, this and that. So I like that he's... Yeah, he, he's, he's honest. He's honest. He's understanding, like, he's good, but he needs to work on some things. So I'll be looking forward to his next fight for sure. Hell yeah. Because that guy was a beast. And, um... So that led up to the two championship fights, which, which, were crazy. which were crazy. Which might be the biggest fights of the year, to be on the same card. I don't think there's any card this year that's like that. Yeah, there was um, Jan Blavowicz. Uh, it says his spell Blachowicz, but yeah, it's like but Blachowicz he's Polish. or yeah, Blachowicz. Yeah, something like that. Since he's Polish, it's pronounced differently. He um, knocked out Dominic Reyes in the second round, which was crazy to become the new UFC light heavyweight champion. John Jones, where are you? <laughs> exactly <laughs> and um it's crazy because a lot of people i don't believe saw this coming or like expected him no. to win i i i'm gonna well i might be speaking for myself i thought dominic reyes was gonna win he he brought a close fight to john jones yeah 
which arguably he won. A lot which, of people think yeah, he won. a lot of people said he won, but he he did not look at all like close to no. to that against his um, Jan Blakowicz. Blakowicz. I'm just gonna call him Jan. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that was crazy. The thing about it for me was like he started off slow, um, yeah. Dominic. He didn't wasn't moving the same, but then he started finding his little groove. But he just kept getting caught. He kept yeah. getting caught, and I don't understand. His biggest thing to the lead up to John Jones was the fact that he played every sport. And he's saying, all that is helping me be able to move certain ways or this and that, football, because he was college. Yeah. He was a big football player. And he was saying that really helps him out because he's good on the lateral speed, lateral movement. He's, you can't really tell where he's going. He's jumping everywhere. He displayed that against John Jones. Yeah. And John Jones was struggling early with that. Um, but th that wasn't there this fight. Yeah, like the first four minutes of the first round, he was not doing any of that at all. And like, I don't think <laughs> the whole fighting was because like he's really good at moving and finding these weird angles to strike and hit you. He didn't do that in this fight. And I, and I don't know if it's because he gassed out at the end of the John Jones fight. Yeah. Even though people still said he won. Even yeah. though that last round was John Jones' round. Um, so maybe he was trying to preserve energy, but I don't know. You need to be more active than that. Yeah, definitely. And... It's hard to preserve energy if you're going to get you're knocked out. Yeah. yeah, he kept getting hit. So, oh, and that kick, bro. Yeah, he, he got hit. He got a hit in the rib. Oh I don't know goodness. what kind of kick it was, but it was like some side kick to the body. And it just left an immediate impact. Immediate. Like, it was all red and purple and like yeah. black. And then it had a white mark in the middle. <laughs> like, it looked like the infamous Joe Rogan kick. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, in a the bag. And then later on, he got kicked in the same spot again, yeah. which obviously that had hurt. hurt. Yeah. That had to have hurt. And uh, he, like they, he ended up getting um. His nose broke. Yeah, his nose broke. He got hit in a flurry. He got hit with a left, uh, a left a hook. It didn't look like it was too crazy, but when they played it in slow motion, I don't know if his nose was already broken before then, but his nose definitely went sideways. It was bad. Yeah, it he, was bad. He lost, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. Dominic Reyes tweeted that he obviously he didn't want it to go like that at all but he's gonna get back on the i didn't even see any tweets horse. yeah he tweeted that today uh so. yeah that was rough for him and then J john jones been t was tweeting the whole night yeah and he was obviously happy probably yeah because um that dominic reyes was saying he's been he's the real champ he's, yeah he's the real winner so obviously john jones is gonna be which petty. uh I'm a, I'm a huge john jones fan but he should have gave dominic that rematch it was too close. Yeah, you I need to give I him that, that rematch because people are saying John Jones lost. So now you need to come and prove I didn't lose, bro. And if yeah. I did, I'm one now. But every time John Jones fights in the rematch, he dominates. Exactly. Yeah, so he should, should. That should be should the extra motive. Like, come on. But, but that, that was a really good fight, though. So that was a good lead up to the main event. All those fights, which was um, Israel Adesanya versus Paul Costa. He ended up. Um, is it TKO or KO? TKO. It was TKO, right? Yeah. He ended up TKOing Paulo Costa in the second round as well. He had the perfect game plan. Yeah, he was. And Paulo Costa had no answer. He had no game plan. He had no like. game plan. Yeah, it seemed like he was letting Izzy stay on the outside and kick him in the leg. Yeah, and, repeatedly. And so every leg kick that he landed on Costa, it left a welt. Yeah. It looked his leg looked like a zebra with all the welts he was getting. <laughs> so he had, I don't know, he had a whole bunch of welts on his leg. He was getting hit in the body with leg kicks. He was getting um, jabbed. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> hooked. Like, uppercutted. It just he, was the worst game plan. Uh, Izzy. I'm just going to say Izzy. It's easier than saying Israel Sudanya every time. Izzy was... Uh, he, he, he didn't even need to counter too much because he was hitting him with everything. Mm -hmm. um, Costa kept laughing and like telling him to hit him again. The first round, bro. Yeah. He was taunting him way too much. Like, I get it. Like, you can do oh that a little God. bit, but maybe if you're landing hits too, don't just, like, you're the only one getting beat but up. But did you see when they, when Paulo Costa, he stopped completely and just went like this? And then Izzy did the same thing and he just stopped and went, Romero. Yeah. He was trying to say, he was like playing like, you know, yeah. Romero. Yeah. And that was hilarious. Which is it reminds me of the Spider Man. You see the Spider Man meme? Yeah, where they, Spider -Man they point to each other. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the reason he said that was because the last fight, a lot of people didn't like it with Izzy because. He didn't. There wasn't a lot of action. I was there yeah. live, and I paid a lot of money to. Uh, not too much money. That was I paid a good fight. amount of money, and it was the worst fight to see live because like the worst fight. nothing happened. Probably the worst fight I've ever seen from a, a top. Con uh, from a hype fight like that and, too. Yeah. yeah. But this time, he just dominated um, Costa on every level. Yeah, he even he hit him with the counter with the counter right hook that dropped Costa. 
And then he just hit him with the hammer fist, and yeah. it was over. Oh, and then he hit him with hammer fist, and while Costa was like rolled on his back, he like teabagged his back oh, or yeah. he humped his back. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate disrespect. Yeah, because they were talking trash the whole the, the whole, whole build up. the whole build up. Yeah, so I guess that was his way of just like adding insult to injury, that which is pretty bad. I would hate yeah. for some guy oh, to teabag be terrible. my back. <laughs> After you just knocked me out. Yeah, that's exactly. The thing about it for me is like, Paulo Costa just wasn't ready. Yeah, that. Or he just... Because like, he's been yeah. dominating people. And the and, Romero fight was really good. And, and he won. And you can't come at Izzy in a straight line, which is another thing yeah. that he was kept trying to do. Like, you got to come at angles. You got to cut him off because... My thing is, again, Izzy's next level. But if I'm Paulo Costa, I have to rush in. Yeah. I, I, I'm not like an idiot, obviously, because yeah. you don't get kicked in the face. Not in a straight line. But <laughs> I'm rushing in because he got in a couple times, but he didn't capitalize. He didn't grab on. He didn't. They just separated instantly and back to kicking the leg. And it's just that's just not it. You can't do that. You need to find a way to get in there and hit this fool. Yeah. And if like your whole game plan was to stand and like stand and strike, and it's not working. Obviously, it wasn't working. Yeah, whatever his game working. plan was. But if that was his plan and like I oh I can't get in. Like he keeps hitting me. Clinch up. Yeah. Like get him in the clinch. Do dirty boxing. Slow him yeah. down. If you can't do that, try to take him down. I don't know, something. Like, something don't just, else besides Just that. stand there and taunt. Especially when you're not even checking the kicks. Yeah, like, I know. That, that was dumb. You just kept getting hit. And then you act he, like you, you, point, were, you pointed at his yeah, leg like, to hit him again. It, like, yeah. it was all good. And like, he did keep doing it because, like, obviously it was yeah, working. Yeah, that was bad. I don't yeah. know. But I th he still has a bright future, though, obviously, because he's yeah, yeah. a really good fighter. It just Izzy's he's uh, another level. Yeah. And, but, and this fight was hella hype, too. And I wish it What did John Jones say about Izzy? Because, obviously, John Jones doesn't like him. But what did he say about What did he say? I'm not the too... saggy. Oh, about his um, saggy titty. Yeah. <laughs> that maybe he's taking steroids because yeah. one of his uh, his his pec, Pecs, I guess. Yeah, we're is, a little saggy. It's saggy, and supposedly um, people say that when you take like estrogen to like counter counteract the effects of the steroids because yeah. you get too much testosterone. Yeah. That that happens. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know if it's been like happening on every fight, but that's what John Jones. Yeah, no, is it definitely has been fighting. happening every fight. Like I'm, we might even put a picture here. Uh, like he's normally very uh, sounds weird, but like tight. You know what I mean? Like ripped or built. Yeah, I guess like you... there's no looseness. I, normally. I guess you could say built. Yeah, there's no looseness, and on this fight, there, like it was loose. Yeah, it was a saggy. It was a saggy. <laughs> it was saggy. <laughs> so I don't know, but people are also saying it could be like a, a torn pec because there's like different levels to that where sometimes, but there was no bruising. But yeah. sometimes you get crazy bruising all down your arm. Sometimes. It just sags down a little yeah. here, so who knows? Who knows, yeah. My thing is, though, why, why would you do it all of a sudden? Yeah. It, well, Acosta, or not Acosta, Acosta's a huge guy, <laughs> you know? If yeah, but he it, didn't it, gain it, anything. Like, he didn't get any mass from No, it. I know. I'm just saying, so, like, maybe, like, that's an intent. If, I'm not saying he did do it. Yeah. I'm just saying, for some reason, if he he did do it, maybe that could have been a factor why, like, oh, this dude's crazy huge. Like, yeah. I need muscle, too, or something. I don't know. I really hope he didn't, because I don't, I don't yeah. think he needed to do it. I don't think he did it either, because he looked exactly the same. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Um uh, this is this is kind of like throwing dirt on his name and like none of us like both of us don't even think he did he did yeah. steroids so it was just something that John Jones brought up and then people started talking about yeah. it but but we had to bring it up too because that's what this show's yeah. about it's topics and trends he just dropped it yeah and they're count they count. No, they